Yeah, we got a we have a poster now for Gastown. Uh, <laughs> so if you're looking to move to Gastown, USA, don't wait. Start now. That's a good poster for Gastown right there. That right there, that's a great poster. And we got the big sandwich. You know it. You know it's not Gastown unless you got the big sandwich. Is Gastown a sundown town? No, no. Gastown is a is is not a sundown town. Not it's not for old people to come and like die here. You gotta come if you're coming to Gastown. You gotta come here to work. Are they fighting? Fuck. What are we fighting? What are we fighting? What are we fighting, guys? What are we fighting? What's coming to Gastown? They're trying to take our wealth. Did they get him? It's just like one raider out here. One half-naked guy tried to come into Gastown. Great job, everybody. Hey, I'm proud of you, settler, guard. Hey, I'm proud of all you. Great job, everybody. You really are doing it. Keeping Gastown safe. You know, I haven't checked up here yet. Seeing how everybody's doing, like, up here. How are the pods doing? People love they pod. God, what a good pod. Oh, what a great pod. Look at these pods. Oh, what a great pod. Wow, what a great pod. How are the, how are the things up here going? Because nobody ever comes up here to work. Even though they do their job. See, they're up here. But like, man, it's... it's It's gotta be great living the high life up here in, in, in like, Gastown proper. Armor merchant. Hey there. Oh, oh, what are you selling? I love buying things. Need to set up a wall, embrace security. No, no, no. I don't. I don't need no no fancy no fancy securitists. I need that shit. We have uh. Don't we have the car? We have the car. We have the raider car. Like we're good here in Gastown. We're doing good. Everybody's having a great time here here in Gastown. I guarantee it. I wouldn't live in Gastown. Yeah, cause you're a coward. You don't want fucking. You don't want to drink diesel at the Gastown fountain. I get it. You don't want to drink diesel at the Gastown fountain. Get yourself and your tummy full of Gastown yummies. The famous Gastown gas fountain. Really, all you need. What's Gastown's immigration policy? You're allowed to come in as long as you don't, like, um, wear red. No. <laughs> you can't wear red. I'm crazy. Nobody can wear red t-shirts in Gastown. I'm crazy. I don't think I'd feel safe. The, the, the crime rate in Gastown is literally 0%. I have the stats. I have the charts. I've written it down. I have all the, all the uh, pertinent information for you for Gastown. I'm going to create a brochure to immigrate to Gastown. Really, all you need is a catchy jingle. All I need to do is just come up with a really good catchy jingle. Coming here to Gastown, baby. You love to hang out, drink gas. Now I'm thinking about the Jimmy Neutron movie. Fuck. You think there's ever been... A, was there ever an episode of Jimmy Neutron where Jimmy Neutron gets picked up by a robot and it dunks him in, like, cherry sauce because the robot thinks he's, like, a, a human ice cream cone? I'm just thinking about fucking Jimmy Neutron movie again now where all the kids are like, yeah, no adults, and then they realize that, like, adults are the infrastructure. And they're like, we gotta get in Spaceship and bring the adults back. Fuck, this sucks. What the hell is it, Jimmy? Jimmy Neutron is a cartoon, a uh, CGI cartoon from the early to mid 2000s, early to late 2000s. Is it like candy bars and shoot through the stars? The, that kid with a knack for adventure. Who the fuck is this? Dutchman? Who the fuck is Dutchman? Hello, Dutchman. What do you got? Uh, miscellaneous. Dutchman. Dutchman's instructions. Uh, deliver your package to the old switching station. The runner arrives at midnight. If you need gear, look for the blue barrel. Was there stuff in a blue barrel around here? Shish. I'm out here, I'm out here looking for blue barrel. I'm on a little treasure hunt. Y'all got blue barrel? That's not a blue barrel. That's a red barrel. Oh, blue barrel. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. Fucking awesome. Carl Weezer's ass gets pregnant with an alien in the TV series for an episode. Thank you for reminding me about, like... Carl Weezer butt pregnancy. Thank thank you for reminding me that he gets butt pregnant. Thank you, Jimmy Neutron. So cool. My mom never forgave us for having to take us to the Jimmy Neutron movie. My uh, my mom really hated the Spy Kids 3D movie because she has a uh, uh, she has a hard time with 3D glasses. So when we saw Spy Kids 3D, she was just fucking like I looked over at her and she's got the 3D glasses and she's got one eye closed. And I don't know why she's doing this, but she's got one eye closed and she's like moving the 3D glasses really fast between the red and the blue, like with her hand. It's really fucking weird. Like, I, 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 I like have an astigmatism. My mom had an astigmatism. But like, I was like, mom, what the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck are you like trying to like get the 3D effect on one eye by moving the 3D glasses really fast? I just, I like, there's no... It just doesn't make sense. Did you know that Boston is literally full of wet and wild dog? Does she not wear glasses? No, my mom doesn't wear glasses. She has she has good eyesight in one eye, and she wears glasses sometimes. But she's, I don't know, she's like my wife. My wife is the same way. 
You're like, I don't want to wear glasses if I don't have to wear glasses. Me, I have to wear glasses because both my eyes fucking suck. But like, both my wife and my mom have one good eye. So they're just like, I'm going to rely on that one good eye. Do I have to refight this guy? Oh my fucking god. Game, I already killed him. Why are you making me refight him? Game, I already killed him. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is a horrible, what a fucking terrible night to have a curse. I already killed him. Oh god, I forgot he can come up here. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? This is tense. This is like a raid boss for me. This is a bastard raid boss. Oh shit. Hey fucker. Gotcha. I don't even need power armor. That's how fucking big I am. I'm huge. I'm massive. And I get two more fusion cores. That guy feel like respawned unless I died on my way to do this brotherhood mission. I don't remember dying on my way to this though. Oh, you know what? Maybe I died on my way back actually. I feel like I did this quest. Ever wonder what the creative meeting for the Jimmy Neutron episode with Carl's pregnancy went through? Like, hey guys, what if we got a kid pregnant in his butt? I think, um, from what I, what, what I remember of Jimmy Neutron's production is that, uh, Jimmy Neutron was fucking plagued with production woes. So I assume that writer's room was fucking stressed the fuck out. I can imagine that that writer's room was, was like fucking, okay, what do we do this week? I don't know. Uh, put, uh, babies, alien babies. Babies, butt babies, alien butt babies, and everybody's like, alien butt babies, alien butt babies, alien butt babies, alien butt babies. And they all like just like were nodding and agreeing with each other, like alien butt, alien butt babies, alien butt babies, alien butt babies. Dude, for a second, I totally thought that sounded like voice comms in like a video game. I totally thought it was like, I'm not playing fucking Fallout 76. That totally, I like the fucking synth sounded like voice comms in an E3 trailer. I was like, ah, oh, dude, go left, go left, go right, go right, go left, go left. He's fucking, he's orang. Get him away from me. Oh God, he's just running at me. <laughs> he's coming for me. Got him. He lost his arm and he just started fucking racing towards me. I just want to shake your hand, sir. I just want to shake. I just want to shake your hand, sir. Sir, I just want to, I just want to shake your hand. Come here, come here. I just, I just want to shake your hand, sir. Come here. I just, I just want to, sir, I just want to, I just want to talk to you. Listen, we're just going to have words, you and I. I just want to talk to you. Mir! I'm not a real Fallout fan. I didn't buy that uh really expensive the like Target Nuka Cola. Not a real Fallout fan. I didn't buy the uh the Nuka Cola Dark that they were selling that had the uh what is it? The the fucking mold in it. People want to meet the bastard, but nobody wants to bastard the meat. You get me? Thinking about uh when Bethesda hired a company to release Nuka Cola Dark and they fucked up everything. Like Bethesda hired this company and like that, that, that I don't give the blame to Bethesda on. That I give it to the company that was, like, releasing the fucking uh, disgusting gloop shoop. The mold was the Nuka-Cola helmet. I thought there was mold in the Nuka-Cola dark, like, rum release. It was in the helmet? I thought it was, like, a rum that, like, a company made. And there was mold in some of them. Damn, I'm misremembering all this Fallout 76 drama. That's what time does to you. Makes your brain a little shaky. Wakey-wakey, egg and bakey. Both things have... Two mold... Dude, I'm fucking blessed. Two cases of mold? Nice. You think the people got so used to cocaine in their soft drinks that they needed the uranium to go grow stronger? I honestly... I, like in the Fallout world, were they really still putting cocaine in the Nuka-Cola? Wasn't it just like fucking wired soda? But like the Nuka-Cola Quantum, they put a fucking isotope in it because they're dumbasses? Didn't Jimmy Neutron once say isotope? If they had radiation in it, why not cocaine? Because then the game would get an adults-only rating. But um, tiss. Nuka Cola was invented in the 2040s. Fucking awesome. Love me, my cola. Can't get enough of that cola. Yum yum. I have that Fallout cookbook. It has a recipe on how to make Nuka Cola, and it doesn't even say go to your local uh, I don't know, the closest nuclear power plant and steal its uranium. Doesn't even say that in the recipe. I want a Fallout weapon that's like a wheel, and you have a big tire, and you just you just throw a big tire at somebody. That'd be cool, I think. I just really want a, uh, like, Mad Max-style apocalypse game, but there's more wacky apocalypse weapons, but it's not, like, boring, like, Rage, and it's not, like, mediocre, like, Mad Max the game, because I want somebody, like, huge and strong, and I want them to have, like, a a maul or a, uh, a what, what is it called? A mace? No. Flail. I want somebody to have a tire flail. I think tire flail is a good bit. Ah! No! <laughs> Thank you, drugs! Sorry, that was real fear. Dropped a load in my trousers. Real fear is a death claw. Oh shit, not another scorpion. I don't have time for scorpions. Come on then. Help me out, Duke. Duke, help me out. Be a pal, be a pal. Don't shoot at this car though, Duke. Oh God, fuck. I shouldn't stand on the explosive car. 
He's got this. He's got this. Duke has this. Duke has this. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's back. Oh fuck me. Do this. I lose health, but. Who? Fucking scary. Where's my water at? Give me. Why am I so genuinely full of fear? What kind of technology do you think they were looking for in this ruined house? Dude, fully functional toaster. Now we can cook four slices of bread instead of just two. Milk. Oh shit, oh shit, oh. That's what you get when you drink milk out here in the wasteland. Fight me, the anti-calcium daddy. That's the bastard's real nemesis. We found him from Gastown to Taffy House. Enjoy your stay in the bastard's commonwealth. After seeing the munched up dolphin shark corpses, I was so afraid of getting munched while in the water. I oh, don't worry about the water. In this game, or like in real life, did you see a bunch of munched up dolphin corpses in real life? Because then I'd actually be afraid of going into the water. But like, in, in Fallout? Nah, I don't, I, like, what's what's gonna be there? A fucking Mirelurk at the bottom, right? Like, oh no, there's a Mirelurk at the bottom of this well. Ah, oh, shit. I'm fucking full of fear. Mirelurk real? Like, man, what, a, what is a Mirelurk gonna do? Fucking swing its crab claw at me? Like, grow up, Mirelurk. Grow up. Dolphin whales. Is it dolphin, dolphin whale? No, it's really cool. Whale sharks are really cool. I was really, oh shit. I was really enamored with uh, whale sharks as a kid. Not like to a super degree, but I was always like, dude, whale sharks are so fucking cool. I wish I could be a fucking shark. That'd be freaking awesome. Like in that kind of way. I think the, the, the real animal obsession was uh, Tasmanian devils. Really weirdly obsessed with Tasmanian devils for a little while. Especially when I found out Tan Tasmanian devils have a transferable disease that gives them tumorous cancer. And that's just fucking sad. Also, I did a PowerPoint presentation in high school on them. And uh, what I didn't realize is every shot in the PowerPoint, the Tasmanian devil, which is a real animal, by the way, uh, every shot that I had of the Tasmanian devils, they had their balls just fully out and swinging around. So like doing this, I, I did this like presentation and report and uh, everybody kept laughing because like the balls were out. It's like, it's an animal. An animal doesn't care if its balls are out. Like, fuck off. Oh, fuck. Oh, please don't kill me. Thank you. I, I've been ripping copper wire out of every wall. I've been ripping copper wire out the high school's bathroom stall. Can you hear the cops coming, trying to stop me? Well, they don't fucking know. I can't be stopped. I don't... I, 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 I could have had a better, like, ending hook to that, but I think overall I got, like, the, the idea of what I was doing kind of out there, you know? Now you know what I'm all about. You're right, Brendan. Show us your ball. I'm not showing you. Stop asking to see my balls. You're not going to see them. Stop playing copyrighted music. I'm Mighty Mighty Man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Stop playing copyrighted music. Well, I'm a Mighty Mighty Man. I'm young and I'm in my prime. Stop playing copyrighted music. Where is it? Stop. Ooh, genuine fear there. I had genuine fear. Full of fucking fear. I heard my... Oh, I heard that... Well... And I was like, no, 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 no. Just... Well... No. I am on... Step one. I'm not a mighty, mighty man. Step two. I'm not young and I'm in my prime. Well, you know, I mean, some people say that like 29 to 30 is still young. You know, you're not really old until you're like 40. And even that 40 is pretty young. So you're not old until you're 50. Well, 50 is pretty young. You're not old until you're like 97. That's the real old age moment. Brend Rudy, you gotta draw something. Yeah, come on, Rudy, you gotta draw something. I don't know what that... Come on, Rudy, you gotta draw... Rudy's got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk, chalk zone. Rudy's got the chalk, the... Fuck off. I hate you for activating that part of my fucking brain. Stop it. You know, like, 70% of my brain is fucking cartoons from the 90s to the mid-2010s. You know that's literally all that I have in my head at all times. Rudy's got the chalk, the chalk, the chalk zone. Fucking evil. Literally, vile, evil, fuck it, disgusting. You gotta put more screaming shill into your draw something. Draw something, Rudy! I can't do, like, that voice, though. I, I, like, I can do, like, a Mickey Mouse voice, and that's it. Oh, boy! Like, fucking, I can't do, I can't do the, the Steezo from Chalk Zone. I can't remember his name. Yeah, I can't remember his name. I was like, Steezo? It's been so fucking long since I watched Chalk Zone. I don't think I've seen an episode of Chalk Zone in 20 years, actually. Rat, roach, got him. What's over here? Vault tech crawling. We got more roaches around here. You want to fucking go, bud? I'll fucking go. I be fighting roaches and I feeling like a rock star. I don't know why I have the Post Malone in my head. Crazy that Post Malone's dad's name is actually Pre Malone. Kind of fucking insane. 
Don't you dare hit me with that gas. Sur what did you just say? Did you Jesse and James me? Surrender now and prepare to fight, fight, fight. Children of Adam are trying to turn our real animals into Pokemon. <laughs> Listen, if we induce more radiation into this rat, it will become a Pikachu. All we have to do is irradiate this rat and we'll get a fucking awesome Pikachu. Me eating radioactive isotopes, you eating a simple meal made by a loving significant other. <laughs> we are not the same. I <laughs> van home. Oh, love that van life. What is this entertainment? What are they doing up here? Just a little, is this a little park? Bro, it's a kitty cafe. You could fucking pet the cat. Dude, come to Outpost Zamonja. We have two cats. I'm gonna name you John, and I'm gonna name you Lisa, because I think it's really funny to give animals human names. A John, A Lisa. Everybody give it up for John and Lisa. They just moved in. They love they box. Me screaming and shouting, I love John and Lisa! I love John and Lisa! You could have called him Bart and Lisa and made funny Simpson. No, no, no. John and Lisa. Uh, why the fuck would I... What's the Simpsons? I'm sorry. Just because I'm an L... Like a, a, a millennial doesn't mean I have to fucking make Simpsons references all the time. I can stop myself. All right? I have self... Whoa! <laughs> sorry, that was coming at me like a 3D movie. I apologize. I can stop myself, all right? I have self-control. Brendan, my coworker left his phone at his desk playing a video to his Bluetooth earbuds. What should I play on his phone before he gets back? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Two options. Uh, gaming grape videos from the annoying Orange Gaming. Or some kind of weird ASMR. You know what? Actually, I think your coworker would really appreciate, like, ASMR Lumberjack. Lumberjack ASMR. I'm, I'm rooting for Lumberjack ASMR, actually. I don't want to go for, like, farts. Like, oh, play some farts. Oh, dude, you should totally play, like, a big stinky one. Like, a fat, wet one. No, no. Play, like, Lumberjack ASMR. I feel like that's more disconcerting, right? Like, hey, bud, today we're going to be uh, chopping down some trees and uh, hope you enjoy this uh, little adventure we're going on today. Uh, you like the sound of that thumping when I hit this oak wood with my... 1977 Harvest Man Hatchet? Yeah, that's a good one, bud. You really like the sound of me chopping this tree? Can you hear my bulging biceps while I hit this tree? Thwack. Thwack. Like, that's way... I, I feel like that's more concerning than, like, I'm gonna play a fart noise on he phone. I don't know. Something about, like, I, 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 I'm always in favor of playing something a little more weird rather than just, like, dude, farts. Because, like, anybody can do, like, dude farts. Because, like, farts are funny, right? I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend like I'm above fart humor, right? I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to pretend like I'm some fucking, like, laureate of comedy. Like, I scoff at the idea of, a, like, a well-placed fart. Because uh, farts can be funny. But I think, like, getting a little bit more weird with it is more funny to me personally. Oh, my God. Gastown looking gorgeous. At night, Gastown's looking really good. I'm just... I'm. I'm saying it. When you come into Gastown from the front, this place is gorgeous. I still, I still haven't talked to dog meat. <laughs> the raids are, what? Why do we have two chefs? Visiting chef? What the fuck? What am I? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. The game crashed and then everything crashed. Um, I, Two chefs crashed my game. Uh, I think also something got fucked up earlier. So I have to go and like. I have to go real quick into the game settings and uh, make it so that the game is not pulling as many resources as it wants to. So give me a moment. I goofed up. I fucked up. I blundered. Two chefs crashed the game. It took all my RAM! No, I have 32 gigs of RAM and a 3090. It shouldn't have taken all my RAM. I had to lower my settings down. Look at that beautiful texture. I just, I just ended up saying fuck it. I lowered a bunch of my settings to see if that would help. We'll see. We'll, we got to see if two chefs crash the game again. That's what's, that's what's going to happen. Two cool guys wearing chef hats crash my whole computer. Two cool guys wearing chef hat crash my whole computer. We got too many cooks, yeah. They spoiled the broth. Have you seen chef? I did, and it crashed my fucking game. You know what's wild is it li literally just like hard crashed everything too. I didn't get an error message for OBS. I didn't get an error message for Fallout 4. I looked over at the Twitch screen on, on my... Uh, on my right monitor and it was just oops google chrome had a problem you're out of memory no fucking idea what was happening this is what i get for saying don't cook i i should have let them cook i like lost my train of thought what was i talking about i was talking about the two chefs i was really excited 
Now there's, in all likelihood, we may not see two chefs again. In all likelihood, those chefs could be gone. We may never see those chefs again. The fact of the matter is, is we had a chef moment, a two chef moment. When this is a one chef stream, there should be a chef cryptid. I'm just saying there should be. What if, uh, what if we start like fucking. Okay. What if we start gaslighting people about the South Dakota cookie monster? And people are like, what about the, is it like the cookie monster from Sesame Street? And we're like, no, it's not. Have you heard about the South Dakota cookie monster? He lives around bakeries and he scavenges cookie dough out of the dumpsters. We got to pick a state that's like boring already too, like South Dakota, because then people will start thinking it's real. It's like the Iowa stick man. Have you heard of the Iowa stick man? You have, right? Really, really cool guy. He lives in the forest. He's made of sticks. Uh, have you heard of the South Dakota cookie monster? No relation to the Sesame Street cookie monster. Are you saying that the Iowa stick man isn't real? No, no, no. I'm just clarifying that there are Iowa stick man sightings all across the world every day. People see him and they go, ah, all right. Are two chefs going to crash the game again? Please don't do this to me. Please don't, please don't do this to me. Two chefs. Okay. No chefs. We're good. Save that. <clears throat> oh my God. Oh, oh God. Brendan, Jesus Christ. Grow up. Listen, that came out of no, that came out of nowhere. I'm so sorry. I usually, I usually mute. I'm so, I have to, I have to apologize, chat. That burp, I, I it's fucking nasty. Fuck, disgusting. Reprehensible. I can't believe I be betray your trust like this. I can't, I'm so fucking sorry. I liked it. Please do it again. No, I'm not doing it again. Just because I can burp anytime I want doesn't mean I'm going to do it for you. Start calling me Bob Belcher. Look at him. He's cataloging the Gastown meat. What kind of meat do we have today, chef? Ah, oh, we got steak, steak, steak. Looking good, chef. Keep it up. We got a Java junkie. I, <laughs> I keep forgetting that I made a fucking, I made a, I made somebody love coffee. Like I completely forgot that one of my settlers fucking loves coffee. What is it? Uh, why would you force someone to like coffee? You monster. <laughs> They're a coffee freak. I can't stop them. They're a Java junkie. They're a coffee freak. Who the fuck is going to raid this settlement? They got a fucking downed TIE fighter from Star's War just here. Brendan, how is the Bible? <laughs> it's a really cool book. I'm just saying, if you haven't read a cool book called The Bible, dude, you're missing out. There's so many adventures. One time in this famous book called The Bible, there is a character in The Bible who is bald and children make fun of him. So the old bald man sicks a bear on those kids. Pretty cool book called The Bible. Let's connect this here. So many wires. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Bug! Bug! We got bug in the town, everybody. Be careful. When did Brendan install a Star Wars mod? It's not a Star Wars. I didn't install like a Star Wars mod. It's because a mod that I installed with Sim Settlements adds that as like a Marshall plot where you get like a down TIE fighter. It's odd. I get it. It's cool, though. It's cool. It's odd. It's weird. Clean toaster. Whoa. So that's why that guy died. Sheesh. Oh, Lord, he's coming for it. Never mind. I was going to be, oh, Lord, he's coming for me. Never mind. I got a junkie's pistol. That means the more drugs that I'm doing, the more withdrawal effects I have, the more damage I do. Ew. Man, that'd be great for my Fallout 76 run. Think about all the damage you could do when you're like fucking jonesing for a quick hit of that beer. Oh, fuck. Nightmare. 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 I'm fucking, I'm so dead. I'm so fucking dead. I'm so fucking dead. I'm trying to just escape this fucking nightmare. I'm not here. It's not me. It's a big crab. Fight the crab. I'm going to reload. Just let me reload. Thank you. Just be chill. Just chill. Hey, can you chill? Please, just give me a moment. Thank you. Oh, is this the place with feral ghouls and turrets? I thought there were gunners here. I was way more afraid. You should stream Fallout 5 next. I... <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. Fuck off. This is the Fallout. This is Fallout 5. This is the definitive experience. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the tour. We're going to be checking out distinct locations in the Commonwealth. Uh, this bus don't move, so just hang out back there for a little bit. Uh, we have the red car, famous red car, blue car, famous blue car, yellow truck, famous yellow truck. We have a building right here, pretty cool. See that fire in the distance could make some, I don't know, weenies, smoke some weenies. If you look to your left, you'll see a red car and a white car and a skeleton and a skeleton and some barricades and a light. Pretty cool. Hope everybody enjoyed the tour. I'm getting off. There's nobody here. Roast some weenies on the fire. Get me a can of those little Smokies. Throw some weenies. I too would like to defend my country. Anytime I think about the National Guard, I think about, okay, so when I was in high school, I had an English teacher 
and he was only there for he was there for years, right? He was like 44 uh, or 43, so like kind of kind of like middle aged, and he was there for the first month of like the cement semester, but then the rest of the semester they had to get a full sub for the class, uh, because he decided to join the National Guard, uh, but only only so he could like quit teaching and run for office and say that he joined the National Guard at like the oldest age that you can. It was <laughs> like actually insane. This man was like. I'm going to join the National Guard for political clout. And then he lost like three elections in a row. And I think he's like a county supervisor now. If you were assigned to an infantry regiment, what career path would you choose? I'd probably be an officer. I took the ASFABs back in um, high school to get out of class. And I scored in the like 99th percentile or whatever. Because you used to be able to take like a military curriculum when I was in high school. It was like a, a standardized test. And they were like, this will determine what military career path you can take. Uh, and I scored, like, butthole high, so I had a bunch of recruiters always coming up to me, be like, be like you, you could be an officer, you could join the military, you go to officer training, all this shit. And I was like, nah, no thank you. Nah. Uh, I'd show them my fucked up elbows, and they'd be like, ah, oh, you know what, you're a mutant. I can't do a push-up, so, like, good luck trying to, like, uh, draft me. <laughs> good luck trying to draft me. I can't do a push-up. Get fucked. Uh, my grandpa's in the Marines, uh, and that's, like, the only military service in my family. I want to do, uh, if I was going to do anything in the military, it'd be the Air Force, but I'm too tall and my eyesight's bad, so. And also, I'm stupid as hell. Uh, so what I should have done is I should have taken all those engineering classes and, like, been an engineer. Uh, but instead, I decided, you know what's really good? Internet comedy. <laughs> That's the career path for me. Retail and internet comedy. You ever seen a doctor about your elbows? I just grew up weird. I just grew wrong. Um, uh, that's it. I grew too fast and I grew wrong. What's wrong with your elbows? They're locked. They only extend to here. They don't extend any further. This is as far as they extend. Right here. I cannot move my arm further. Both my arms are like this. They are stuck at an angle. This is the farthest they go. So like, this is the farthest they go. They're literally, I'm literally a mutant. I am literally a Lego man. This is not like, this is not a joke. I was literally built out the package. I'm, they're stuck like that. Both of them are stuck like that. I cannot extend them past there. Like, they're stuck at a 160 degree angle. I'm just fucked. Uh, that's just what it like to be me. I'm not used to seeing Brendan with a beard this thick. I'm just letting it grow out. I'm just curious to see how far I'll take it. Then I'm gonna do my, like, uh, get me, get me, like, a full lumberjack costume going. Gonna get my hair braided. Gonna be one of those, like, cool modern lumberjacks. Call me a lumberjerk. Do me my woodcutting stream. I <laughs> accidentally cut my foot off during the, <laughs> the woodcutting stream. I got, like, those big, like, basketball holding hands. If I'm out here in the wasteland and real, if I ever get sent to the apocalypse, I'm just going to have a bunch of bowling balls, and I'm just going to throw them at people's head. I think people will call me the orb fighter. Let's be real, though. When the bombs drop, I'm one of the first to get gone. But I think it'd be really cool if I got really, really buff, and I swung bowling balls around and hit people with it. I think that would be pretty awesome, and I think I could get away with it. Would I raid people's homes and bases and settlements? No, but I would be a wandering mercenary hitting people with my big sack of bowling balls for big damage and throwing a bowling ball at somebody's head for medium damage and smashing bowling ball into somebody's head while my fingers are in the hole for small damage. Brendan was the tournament eating champion of Scranton, Pennsylvania Chalupa Division. What does that mean? No, they're not going to call me the striker. What's the thing? What's the thing before strike? Spare? They're going to call me the sparer because it's going to take me at least two hits to kill somebody with a bowling ball. I'm not going to be able to crack somebody's head with a bowling ball like right away and like yeah. sup on their delicious brain fluid, right? I have to fucking get up in there and I got to crack once, crack twice. Oh no, two chefs. That's fucking scary. Is it going to happen again? Is my game going to crash again? One that ends without an empty stomach. Thank you, two chefs. If you die for the wind blowing you away, how the hell are you going to kill, kill with a bowling ball, Brendan? I'll find a way. Whoa, gee, what the, what is happening here? Guys, whoa. Why does everybody on my base have gamma guns? Fuck it, whoa. Where'd you get my, did you take my alien blaster? Where did everybody at Gastown have fucking lasers? <laughs> Try out some of our famous laser lasagna. This is now Goss Town, USA. <laughs> Good fucking one. Good one. Welcome to Goss Town, USA. Bye bye, Gastown. Hello, Goss Town. There should be somebody on like Etsy fucking, I wonder if there's somebody on Etsy porting movies to UMD. Because imagine being like, dude, guess what? Just got a fucking copy of Black Adam, the Dwayne The Rock Johnson famous movie. Awesome. What are we going to watch it on? 
dude, you're not going to believe this. PSP. <laughs> I'm assuming due to copyright, you wouldn't be able to do that. But it would be really funny if there was somebody out there selling bootleg UMDs. It's the only format. I only watch two formats, okay? If that movie ain't on UMD, I'm not watching it. If that movie ain't on HD DVD, I ain't watching it. I only like movies in outdated formats. Put the whole of Morbius on a UMD. Put Morbius on an HD DVD. I, I, I hope to God that there's somebody out there in this world that's keeping the HD DVD format going. I don't know how they do it without the access to blank HD DVDs, but I, I wonder if somebody bought like a stockpile, right? Of like blank HD DVDs, so they have like thousands of them in their home, and they're just burning new movies to it constantly. And then when the bombs fall, they're like, I have the only good media collection, all on HD DVD. Watching Morbius on my PS Vita MP4. Fucking awesome, dude. OLED screen. I only watch movies on my Vita OLED. That's the only way to experience them. I don't want to buy an OLED TV. I ain't gotta. I got like a 10 inch OLED screen right here. I had a dream that I was at Target last night, but it wasn't a normal Target. It was like a future Target and I bought a bunch of Transformers toys and they had like weird white glowing portals instead of checkout counters. And I was next in line and everyone got mad because I couldn't use the white portals. What? What if, what if Eminem got up on stage and just said, mom, and then he walked away. <laughs> right and do a funny, it's too quiet. What if you woke up one morning, right? Imagine this, like picture this, right? You woke up one morning and you were Mokujin from Tekken, but you're not like fighting anybody. You're like working at a Starbucks. And Mokujin, as we all know from Tekken, uh, copies abilities from other fighters because he is, in essence, a living training dummy. So Mokujin starts his day, right? You're Mokujin. You do shit. So you have to go from Starbucks to Starbucks, learning from the best so that you can be the top wooden barista in your area. Wouldn't that be fucking wild? That'd be outrageous, right? That'd be fucking... That'd be insane. You would? Two? Would? Three? Would? Imagine that. Wood making coffee. Tagline of the whole thing would be, would you would? You would. Uh, I said, what's a Tekken? Fuck. I gotta make a non-Tekken joke. Have you ever walked into the bathroom and like, you go to take a piss and a small man jumps out of the toilet and he starts doing a little dance and you're worried because like, you have to piss and you either have to sit down or like pull your pants down and go and it, you don't know what to do. Like, you have one toilet in your house. How do you get rid of this small man? So you go and you like reach and try to grab him, but your hand faces through the small man and he keeps doing his little dance and, and you're sick of it. You have to go to the bathroom, but that's what he wants. So you don't want to give in. So you go outside and you're like, I'm just going to do my business outside. Fuck it. I'm not dealing with a small man who lives inside of my toilet. Hunger, hung, like his hunger for piss is insatiable and I'm not a freak. I'm not doing this. So you go outside and the small man, he follows you and he's always wherever you go awaiting the piss and there's nothing you can do about it. So you just have to let go, and the second you go to piss, he moves out of the way. And then he pulls up, like, a sign, like, Wiley Coyote would, instead of, like, talking at you. And it says, gotcha, bitch. I didn't want piss at all. And then he flies away. <laughs> I don't know. Was that funny? Was that good? I don't know. What if you were outside and you said hello to your neighbor, but then your neighbor was the neighbor from Hello Neighbor, so you saying Hello Neighbor activated his Hello Neighbor sleeper cell program, and then he starts running at you because he thinks your house is his house, so you leave, you live in the forest for six months, and he finally dies of cardiac arrest, so you go back into your house, and you realize he's transformed your entire home into, like, some weird Hello Neighbor nightmare home filled with many traps and hijinks, and you're fucking pissed off. How did he pay for all these renovations? Now you have to pay to renovate your house back to normal, and you've been living in the forest for six months, you've been going to work still like normal you haven't been able to bathe or shave or anything so you have to deal with the ramifications you have to pay for all these renovations now would that suck <laughs> this is what I, I just say words somebody once said brendan you can't just say words and i took that as a personal challenge brendan do a little funny that isn't a video game reference um you ever been at the store and there's a guy there with an open jar of peanut butter and you're running around with your big hershey's chocolate right in your right hand and you're so excited You've got it open and ready to eat it. You're going to bring the wrapper back to self-checkout and pay for it right then and there. And the dude, he's just sitting there in the middle of the aisle while you're running. You're jogging because you love to grocery store jog with your big chocolate in one hand. And you fucking fall flat on your face because the man set up a bunch of caltrops in your way. And boom, your chocolate in his peanut butter, his peanut butter in your chocolate. What do you do? Of course, what I would do is kill him on the spot. I, I would eradicate that man from existence. He'd be gone. But like a normal person, maybe you try it. Maybe you give it a little bite and it fucking sucks. You forgot. Ooh, ooh, you have a peanut allergy. You're dead. Isn't that weird? Isn't that fucked up? What if you were at the fair and a man, a strange man walked up to you and he said, have I got a bargain for you? Two for one on funnel cakes right here, right now. And he's not like, he doesn't look like he's working a stand. He's not wearing an apron, right? 
He's just outside trying to sell you a funnel cake. Two funnel cakes, in fact, for the price of one. Do you accept? I don't know if I trust like that. Brendan, do a red pilled funny. Don't you hate it when, like, you're walking around the street and you see somebody you don't like? And you go, and you walk all the way home and you're still mad about it. So you take the angriest shit of your life and then you die of an aneurysm on the toilet. Ooh, that really steams me up. Oh, I'm really steamed about it. Ooh, I'm so fucking mad. Don't you hate it when somebody's on an iPad right in front of you and they're reading the collected works of HP uh, Lovecraft and you say, Ooh, that really steams me up. Eldritch Horror, not on my bus. I say, get off my bus, freak. And he says, no, I'd rather not, actually. Uh, this is a public bus. You don't own it. And then I say, I'm John Bus. I own every bus. And then you kick him off the bus. Don't you hate it when iPad? Don't you hate it with phone? Don't you hate it with laptop, computer? Don't you hate it when kids these days are uh, looking at things? Man, I hate that. Me, personally, I think the invention of steam technology, completely overblown. It's never going to catch on. That guy, he's building that plane, never going to catch on. We are never going to be flying in the sky. We're built on the ground for a reason. People are never going to fly. Fucking idiots. This radio thing, never going to catch on. Never going to catch on. People want oratory stories. They want oral. People want oral. They crave oral. This radio thing, never going to catch on. Why Why do you think we'd fly? We would never fly. That's for birds. You're right. Radio thing, never going to catch on either. This microwave, have you heard about this? Have you seen this? This microwave thing, never going to catch on. I like my food cold and sloppy. This fridge thing, never going to catch on. If you don't have a hole in your backyard, with a bunch of ice packed around it to store food during the winter and the summer? Never going to catch on. If you don't have a fruit cellar, you're a fucking idiot. This fridge thing? Never going to catch on. Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? This fire thing? Fucking these idiots out here being warm when instead you just cuddle up with your loved ones. Right? I personally, I love the people pile. I really don't like this fire thing. I love being in the cave. Eight to ten of us get into a people pile. We're all naked. We all keep warm that way. This fire thing? I think this fire thing is going to divide us. Personally, this fire thing, it's going to divide us. As a country, we don't need it. I think that fire is a weakness. Personally, it is a weakness. I have it on my stat sheet right here for my character. Brendan, I don't know where that was going. I was thinking like fire weakness, whatever. doesn't matter. Somebody will get it at some point and then they'll laugh. Have you heard about this wheel thing? You're right. Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? This whole fucking wheel thing. Overblown, I say. Listen, I have me horse. I like to ride me horse. Uh, I, I domesticated me horse, and I ride it to and fro, all right? I deliver parcels throughout the town. Well, it's not really a town. It's a collection of mud, hut, and stick. But this whole wheel thing. Oh, my God. These guys are so fucking up their own ass about it. They're going to build, like, a carriage. People are going to get into the carriage. This carriage thing? Fucking insane. I don't need that. Why me need to be able to carry many things when really I just need to be able to carry one thing? <laughs> you hear about thumb? Pretty, pretty lame. <laughs> Me, me no think me need thumb. Uh, have you heard about thing called simple tool? <laughs> Grug think it's silly. Uh, these people may, may, may they make knife? They call it and hammer and spear. Oh, why Grug need that? They say you take five people to kill bear, right? When me normally think ten people to kill bear. And Grug, certified bear wrestler, I wrestle bear all day. Simple tool, take Grug job away. I built strong at huge. So why do Spear take my job away as bear wrestler? Me think, me love simpler time, where Grug could bear wrestle for whole tribe. But simple tools, this ruin everything. You take away Grug job, Grug livelihood. Me, I hate Spear. That's like, I fucking, that's literally comedy throughout the ages. You're welcome. Just people being mad is like 50% of comedy. There's like one immutable, irrefutable piece of evidence that one thing persists throughout all of human history, and that's hose mad. Kind of insane, honestly. That's the one thing that persists throughout human history is uh, hose mad. Brennan, do a, do a bit, do a joke that doesn't involve somebody getting mad. What if you opened up your water purifier and there was a bunch of like, pay, like, uh, oh God, don't kill me, please. What if you open up your water purifier and there was a bunch of dirt in there? That'd be fucked up. Where, where did the dirt come from? I wouldn't be upset or anything. I'd just be like, it'd be like a little mystery. Where did the dirt come from? Oh, uh, a dog. New dog. Oh my God, they built a little... Why did they build a dog house? Wait a minute, did they build a dog? Did they build a dog house? Does that... Cons oh, oh, they have a sleeping bag. Okay. Who? I got actually scared there for a moment because I thought they just didn't have a home. 
But they their dog has a nicer house than them. I <laughs> sleep in my big bed next to the gas powered generator. Awesome. I sleep in a race car bed. I sleep in a big bed with my gas powered generator. <laughs> Why that bug suck the tree? Stop that. Grow up, maybe. Maybe one day you will grow up. Just kidding. You can't grow up. Maybe if you weren't sucking on the tree, you would have grown up to realize you need blood to survive, not sap. This stupid bug thinks he can suck blood out the tree. Tree ain't got no blood. Honestly, I'd be afraid of a bleeding tree. That, that genuinely, one of my worst fears as a kid was, um, I, I don't know why I had like this week long, like fear where I was just afraid that trees were bleeding. I think I had like a weird dream where I like cut a tree and it started bleeding and screaming. So I had this week long fear on the farm when I was living on the farm that I would go outside and the trees would just be bleeding and screaming at me. There's probably, yeah, there's probably a red sap tree or something. But like, do it bleed though? No. If it bleeds, you can kill it. You know what doesn't bleed? A tree. You can't kill it. You know what botanists always say? Trees are unkillable. You cannot kill them. Your house is made of wood. That wood is alive. One day, it will come for you. They got a boxing gym. We got a little store over here. They're eating people. Are you eating people? Wait a minute, are you eating people? Wait a minute, are you eating people? Wait a minute, what? Why are you eating? You know what? Nope, not gonna fight it. You're eating people. You got a bone thrown. You have a graveyard. All right, good. I made a town of cat cannibals. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Cannibal town. Awesome. Look at the bone thrown. Look at the graveyard. Look at the human meat shack. Cool. All right, awesome. That's fine. You can eat people if you want as a little treat. Sure. This is not gas town. This is not gas town. You are a fool if you think this is gas town. This is not gas town. This is not gas town. Brennan, get one of the meat pies. I will go and talk to them and see what they're selling. I hope it is not human flesh. I don't know who works here. I don't know whose shop this is. Whoops. Hey, this is the chef. There we go. The chef is over here in the boxing up. arena for some reason. Raw, <laughs> raw prime cut raider butt. Why the fuck? Why are you selling butt meat? Dirty raider <laughs> Okay, I gotta fucking buy the Dirty Raider Burger. They're selling butt meat. What does the Raider Burger look like? <laughs> I finally did it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? I have the big freaking burger. Huge, in fact. <laughs> They've been eating butt burger out here in the fucking wasteland. <laughs> oh my fucking God. <laughs> They really do be doing it. They really do be eating butt burger out here in the wasteland, ladies and gentlemen. How big is it out of inventory? You know what? We do gotta see. I hope it's fucking huge. Oh my- That's a big sandwich. <laughs> thank you for this. Thank you for this small, luxurious meal, but this one's a bit too big for me. I'm fucking. <laughs> I didn't think it would be. I did not think it would be that fucking big. That's a crazy luxurious meal. I'm gonna ignore the butt meat for now. I gotta go back to. I gotta go back to Gas Town. I'm sorry. I'm ignoring the butt meat for now. I'm. This sandwich is so big. <laughs> this sandwich is so I can't even unhinge my. I can't fucking eat it, dude. Eat the big Raider burger. It's made of people, isn't it? It is. Eat your big burger. I ate it in one bite. Nope. Just like Scooby and Shaggy would do. <laughs> like I can't wait to get myself a dirty Raider burger. <laughs> I like, watch out, Scoob. That's one big sandwich. <laughs> Holy Toledo, Scoob. I'm just, I'm just in awe. I'm going to be in awe all day. I'm going to be thinking about the big sandwich and how I did it. I finally did it. Big sandwich. We're going to start eating people, Scoob. It's going to be kind of crazy. <laughs> I'm going to have a mental breakdown about the big fucking sandwich. How do you get it that big? How do you grill that? How do you make a sandwich that big? Where do you get the bread from? <laughs> like, watch out, Scoob. I'm fat and full of prions. <laughs> you know, life is about simple pleasures. And one of those simple pleasures is big sandwich. <laughs> you have to enjoy life's simple pleasures. Like a really big sandwich. And uh, watching the stars fall from the sky. 
How much does it weigh in inventory? I didn't even look at that. Only 0.5 pounds. 0.5 pounds for a burger this big. <laughs> I can't keep taking it out of my inventory. I keep fucking losing my shit. I keep forgetting how fucking massive it is. That's all the people meet right out of there. That's like one of those man versus food challenge. Like this shit won't even fit in the back of a truck. This is how you move your sandwich from one location to another one. You have to fucking, you have to. Hey, hey, you want to get my DoorDash order? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll take the pickup. Why? It's a big sandwich, John. I need to use the pickup to load it. It does not fit. It won't fit. John, you're sick. You're, I, it's too heavy to carry. I can't carry it. It's too heavy to carry. Utility Protectron. Hey, you did a good job. Take this. Just for you. A huge sandwich. <laughs> hey, you did a great job. Enjoy your meal. Look, he loves it. He loves the big sandwich. Hey. St he walked around it. Hey. Just for you. Huge sandwich. Hey. Hey. Here's a treat for you. Hey. 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 Here's a treat for you. Enjoy. Oh, no. My sandwich is falling down a hole. <laughs> I gotta keep that on my inventory forever. Put something sticky on it. Oh, no. You ate all your gummy gum. <laughs> Repair with parts laying around. Aw, oh, come on. That should've that should have procked. I ate all my gum. Oopie. Me, I ate all my gum. I ate all my sandwich. Oopie. I made an oopsie. I made a silly. Oopie. Perfectly designed. I made a robot that was perfectly designed to only eat big sandwiches. This way, I always have a customer for my ridiculously big sandwich shop. It's called Big Sandwich. Yeah, I put a lot of thought into it, but I thought like telling the consumer exactly what we were offering would be the best way to get customers. But in fact, the sandwich is too large for a lot of people. So this robot is going to A, buy sandwiches every day, B, consume them for fuel, and then C, get a job working at like an iron or steel mill to be able to afford these big sandwiches. You see, I have my whole plan figured out and then business will be booming. Why worry about attracting customers when you could just build your own? Why would I ever need to be able to sell things to people who want to buy them when I can make my own people who will buy them regardless because they're programmed to consume you know even though we are all laughing at the big burger because like look like it's fucking huge remember it's made of people and the bastard will never be the same what makes the dirty the burger dirty I dropped it on the floor like what happened uh, <laughs>